It'll be Warren Johnson versus Bob Glidden in the 7-Eleven Cajun Nationals Pro Stock Finals as Ada Glidden, Bob's wife, guides him in for the water burnout. And what a role this extraordinary lady has had in his success. It looks like I'm starting to specialize in sit-down indoor interviews. You have a keen grasp because the heat and the humidity is getting to this television reporter and maybe even a little bit to this uh, pro stock crew chief, Eddie Glidden. Boy, it's bad, huh? Yes, the humidity is, I think, the worst part about it. You know, going into this final against Warren Johnson, no pun intended, but you're not exactly in the driver's seat. Uh, you're right. <laughs> we need to find a little bit. Uh, we've been running reasonably consistent, and uh, the car is working really well. We're really pleased with the, the way the car works. We're just not pleased with our ETs. You'd like another tenth? Um, I'd like a tenth, but I'd take 500s. 500s in a good light. Yes, in a good light. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Well, this is going to be an interesting one. These guys have raced each other hundreds of times, Steve Evans. But I would give the edge slightly here to Warren Johnson. That's based only on elapsed time. But when Bob and Etta and Sons, Billy and Rusty put their mind to it, they may have found that 500 they're looking for. This could be won or lost right on the starting line. The Pro Stocks, when they come up, they bring the RPMs up to about 8,500 and just sidestep the clutch. They are violent off the starting line. Both of them moving up the stage, neither in a, a particularly big hurry. They'll be in a hurry when that light flashes yellow. It is Bob Glidden off the mark first. Bob Glidden left first, but here comes that Oldsmobile Calais. It is Johnson. Johnson by a fender at 761 to a losing 767. Good race. All these pro stock races are so close, but a 761, 178 miles an hour. What a stout run by Warren Johnson. And as you said, Steve, it usually is decided in the first 20 feet. Bob Gooden may be a little edge off the line, but of course, Warren Johnson, that big 500 cubic inch Oldsmobile, just pulled Glidden on the top end, and that carved out a half a car length victory for Warren Johnson. Cajun Nationals Pro Stock Champion, Warren Johnson bails out a beautiful 761. Thank you. That was low ET for eliminations, I believe. I felt like a real good pass. Uh, we made some adjustments because the track cooled down, and I think it paid off. Yeah, you just a couple of hundreds off the mark. Didn't take you long to make it up. I felt he would because uh, we've noticed that all week long. We made some changes that the car was a little lazy off the starting line as far as reaction times are concerned, but we didn't have the tire shake phenomenon that we've had at some of the other tracks, and we gave up a little bit there to gain a whole bunch down the racetrack, and it paid off. That's two this year? Two this year so far. All right, there may be more in this man's future. Warren Johnson. 